everybody. I am Jessica Koch, and I am your host for Profound Professionals. Profound Professionals has been running for more than five years now. We globally feature amazing in individuals who are doing things out of the box in their industry, as well as causes they care about. Today, I have the honor of having as a guest a Barry Molesdale, and he is an executive leadership coach, and he will focus on helping bring joy to your work lives. So if you do not have joy and love in your place of work, then Barry is your man. Welcome to the show today, Barry. Thanks, Jessica. It's very exciting to be here. <laughs> it is a very exciting day. We are, it is. It's we are awesome. We're having a wonderful, wonderful day. So tell me, how did you get to this space where you're like, I need to bring joy and help guide and coach people to having joy, not just at home, not just with their family and with their hobbies, but where they work? Um, great. Thank you. Uh, yeah. For me, I've been in, I was in the corporate world for 25 years, um, you know, leading multinational organizations, usually the Canadian divisions. And I got to a point in my own journey where I hit a roadblock. And a fantastic leader gave me the advice. He said to me one day, Barry, you are the best business operator I know. And the people on your teams love working for you. He goes, but all the other people you deal with, you're like an assassin. And you, you shoot them and knock them over and don't even care where you leave the dead bodies because you're so focused on the goal. And he said, if you ever want to become that great leader that I know is in you, you need some help. And he hooked me up with a fantastic executive leadership coach about 15 years ago. And I went through a very similar journey that I'm taking people through now, so much so that the materials that I have been trained on to become a truly reflective leader are now part of my intellectual property and my boost leadership program. And I continue to have positive impact then after uh, that training into the lives of all the people that work for me. And then I also then came to the reality that I can only affect 50 to 100 people at a time because that's the scale of the teams that I lead. And then I realized that's satisfying, but it's not intrinsically satisfying enough. And they always say, teach what you know. Mm -hmm. So I made the challenging but empowering decision to understand my passion. And I started by reading that fantastic book by Simon Sinek called Find Your Why. And I read that book many years ago and it really resonated with me. And I said, you know what? I'm going to make the investment. I'm going to get certified in all these tools. I'm going to create my own version of that journey that I've been on with all the several tools that I've used. And I'm going to put that out into the universe, as I like to say, because I'm a huge fan of the secret and putting things out in the universe and believing they will be true. Mm -hmm. And years later, they are true. So and, that's here, me. and here you are. So about how long, here I am. how long have you been doing this? Uh, I've been consulting on and off for about 15 years, and I've been intentionally doing leadership coaching for the last three. Basically, when COVID came around and my business went through numerous struggles that I was facing and the organization in the world was facing, mm -hmm. I, I found that I had a deeper sense of reflection um, of, I wouldn't necessarily say just it was the fear of COVID. But I recognized very early on that a paradigm shift was going to be happening in the emotional state of people by how fearful we all were. If you think back to that first six week period and I thought whether it's getting through COVID or whether it's the new paradigm that's going to happen after COVID, right? We all spend a third of our lives at home, at work or sleeping. Mm -hmm. And I think that third of our lives was now transformed and changed forever. If you think about all the conversations about work culture and work from home and hybrid and going back to the office and, you know, how people are making all these unique, different, what's best for them decisions. And the reality I found is great work cultures. I don't love the word culture. I like the word environment, mm -hmm. but great work environments pull people in and want them 
to return to work for something that they miss. Mm -hmm. If the environment isn't compelling, then why would you want to make a quote unquote sacrifice that you had to make before when now you have some power as the employee to not to want to be there? So what are some of the different ways they can, uh, clients can work with you? Is it online courses? Is it group coaching? Is it um, one-on-one, like all of the above? Like what are the ways if I'm going to become, uh, if I'm going to come to you and seek this joy out and get your co- coaching along the way, how am I receiving that? Uh, that's a great question. So I have two different programs uh, that are our 90-day boost leadership program. And BOOST is not a fancy acronym like SMART goals. It's actually boosting performance and boosting confidence. Mm -hmm. Um, So we do a 90-day workshop with leadership teams directly on site and obviously vis-a-vis Zoom. But the the seven half-day workshops are conducted directly on site with the organizations. Mm -hmm. And in between those seven-day workshops over the span of 90 days, I'm doing one-on-one interviews with each of the participants and they're doing action learning groups to make sure the information is actually becoming sticky in their minds and they're testing the application so that they have longer term success. Mm -hmm. So that would be my group program. And then from an individual coaching perspective, we take a nine to 12 month, depending on, you know, how fast you want it to go and what time you have to apply to it. We go on a very similar journey. Uh, that is our 12 month boost leadership individual one on one coaching. And obviously, if you're in the general vicinity of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, I can come to you or you can come to me. But naturally, we do that uh, most often through Zoom or any other video streaming service. That's fantastic. Before I move on to my next question, is there anything else about the business that you haven't shared that you want us to know? Yeah, I would thank you for asking. I would say that, you know, the most intentional client that we're finding right now are either first time managers, if you want to call them that. I don't necessarily call them leaders because that's something you earn, but first time managers who have had a successful career as an individual contributor and their and their IQ has really served them well. And now they're transitioning into a role where they really need to dig in and understand their EQ. And if you think about it, EQ isn't something we're ever taught from an early age anywhere through school. Either we acquire it or we don't. Either we have awareness or we don't. So a lot of first-time managers or longer term but yet struggling managers, Mm -hmm. right? That's really our sweet spot of who we want to dig in and help. Because they don't have as much life maturity and multiple life experiences that may contribute to their evolution of EQ. So that's kind of the sweet spot of of who we like to focus on, our ideal client, if you will, uh, because it really affords them the opportunity to accelerate their learning curve and therefore accelerate their leadership and thus career promotional opportunities if they aspire to be further up the quote unquote corporate ladder. So what about what's one thing someone listening can do today to be a better leader? What's just one piece that they could actually apply and they could actually do today and it would help them better in leadership, whether leading their family, leading a, a group or leading inside their company? Uh, My number one piece of advice to anybody is be more present when you're listening. I love that. Human human beings naturally listen to wait their turn to talk. Mm -hmm. They do not listen to be present and hear and understand and confirm that they're actually hearing what the other person has said. And if you don't do that, Whatever words come next out of your mouth are for your benefit and not for the audience's benefit. All right. I appreciate that. That's really good. Okay. Well, one of the big reasons we launched um, Profound Professionals so many years ago to feature people was also be able to feature amazing causes that they care about. Is there a cause that you care about? Yeah, there is. Uh, I, I have three boys. 
Um, my eldest has just turned 19, which is legal drinking age in Canada. So that's been a whole other journey of discovery in the last two weeks. Um, my second child is almost 17. And both of them at a very, very young age were diagnosed as being on the autism spectrum. Mm -hmm. So I have spent a lot of years in front of professionals. I have spent a lot of years, um, you know, understanding their needs a little bit differently and fighting for them to be considered not lesser, mm -hmm. but just different. And fortunately for me in Oakville, where I live, we have a very fantastic little league baseball program, which I'm always promoting. Um, and yeah, I, so I'm, I'm very passionate about autistic children and children with other different needs that are different than others. So at Oakville Little League, we actually offer what's called challenger baseball. And that's for any kids of any age from the ages of six up to 25 who have unique challenges that don't afford them the luxury and the experience of participating in sports with the quote unquote average or normal children. So our challenger baseball is really where my passion is each and every year to go out and coach and go out and train and go out and be in front of these kids and have them gain that joyful experience that my kids looked for when they were younger to feel like they fit in and now bringing that same experience my kids had to as many others as possible. That's awesome. And I always, everyone who um, listens to my show and follows our show knows how much I love books. So you mentioned a book earlier, but is there another book that has inspired your life or your growth of your business? Um, no, I, I would certainly say that um, other than Simon, I would say John Maxwell, mm -hmm. The Five Levels of Leadership. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think I referenced it earlier. We generally tend to find coaches when they sort of do their own self-awareness assessment that are usually either at level one or two. Um, some of them may have had a little bit of a journey in getting to three, uh, but really our our found our our program's foundation is built upon the tools and skill sets that most people I've interacted with in my career I deem to be great. And moving from good to great, as John Maxwell states, mm -hmm. is really how do you teach them and give them the tools to move to level four or level five in terms of great leaders. So that that's a book that really is the framework of what I do. Simon Sinek's book, Find Your Why, was really the ethos or impetus for me to pivot from corporate into actually doing this. Right. Well, those are wonderful books. Thank you for sharing. So if you're listening and you're a profound professional, you can inspire and improve someone's personal life, spiritual life, or help them grow their business and have something better than they are before, then we would love to feature you on Profound Professionals. Reach out to us, but even better, be the hero. If you know someone who is passionate and inspiring and truly profound, making a global impact on the world, we really would love for you to introduce them, be a hero to them and be a hero to us. And let's get them on our show. Now, before we say goodbye, Barry, I always ask my clients if they can share one last piece of inspiration or information. Do you have one last thing for our audience? Yes, I would say if you're interested in giving, earning, and building trust in your personal or professional life, all it takes is a 30-minute phone call. I love that. That's, you know what, I, I also am constantly trying my for myself and to inspire others to write a card or send a letter or make a call for someone you haven't talked to in a really long time, because nope. those, are, those are important things too. Thank you so much for that. Thank you for joining us today, Barry. Thank you for having me. And until next time, I'm Jessica Koch, your host of Profound Professionals. Be kind to yourself and be kind to each other. Bye, everybody. Thank <laughs> you.